Hello, everybody. I am Colorful Artie, and welcome, at last, to Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. I just want to preface this, this Let's Play. I have been trying to Let's Play this game for years. Like, I've been trying to Let's Play this game ever since I completed my Let's Play of Frogger 1. He's back. That was Let's Play number 19. This is close to Let's Play number 80. Like, it, it's literally been, like, five years since I've played the last Frogger game, and I've been trying to play this ever since. It I cannot tell you how difficult it is to get this game running on a modern machine and have everything working A-OK, -okay, having the graphics and the music working well, having it run at a proper frame rate, and uh, being able to record the screen. Getting all that, oh, almost impossible. So I want to give a huge shout-out and a thank you to... The community over in the Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge speedrunning category because um, on their website, on the speedrun.org website for Frogger 2, they have resources and the patches that they have for this game are what saved me and allowed me to actually record it. So huge thank you all over there. You don't know me, I don't know you, but you helped me out immensely. So yeah, Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge, the direct sequel to Frogger He's Back, one of my favorite childhood games, and I adore this game as well. In some ways, it's similar to Frogger 1, and in other ways, it's not. Um, it's a shorter game than Frogger 1. It's a much easier game than Frogger 1. Yeah, Frogger 1 is already pretty short. This one is even shorter, and it's a lot easier. And um, improved graphics, and uh, there's also a story to this game. As you saw in the opening cutscene, uh, this is the Swampy's Revenge. To this day, I've been playing this game since I was like six years old. I do not know who Swampy is, or why he wants revenge on Frogger. I can only conclude that he was one of the random, uh, like, alligators that Frogger jumped on in his adventures, and now, like, because of that, he's like, I must kill Frogger. <laughs> and he tried to run us over with a truck, and the game hasn't even begun yet. So, yeah, we can go to options, there's sound settings and extras, we'll be exploring more of those later on. In the meantime, though, we can start. There's multiplayer, I'll try to play it with Marty, it's interesting. In some ways, it's actually better than the Frogger 1 multiplayer, so let's just hop on into it. We're on Chapter 1, Baby Fro baby Frog Rescue. Yeah, there is a story of this game. It's not necessarily a good story, but, I mean, hey, Frogger 1 didn't have one, so here we go. Rescue five baby frogs to complete the level. So, this is the training area. This is where we get to control Frogger <laughs> and learn all of the basic controls of the game. So it plays very similarly to Frogger 1, where it's like a top-down style 3D game, where you can hop around. Um, a couple main differences, one of the big differences between the two is in Frogger 1, you had to kind of, if you wanted to hop quickly, you had to hop very rhythmically, and even then there was like a limit to how fast you could move. In Frogger 2, nope. Basically as fast as you can push the keys, that's how fast you can move, more or less. So if you're used to the Frogger 1 style controls, it could be a little difficult, but honestly, it makes it very fun for speedrunners, I'm sure. <laughs> Another thing that's different is that, well, uh, in Frogger 1, you can, like, manually change the camera direction. You can't do that in Frogger 2. Instead, you'll auto get the camera changing automatically where it's convenient. It may sound like a downgrade, but trust me, it actually works very well. The other main gimmick here is the five frogs. In Frogger 1, one of the things I love the most is exploring the, like, freedy environments, trying to find the five frogs. In this, Frogger 2, the levels are very linear, where you always get the frogs green, yellow, blue, purple, red, always in that order. So, as you can see right here, press enter to super hop over obstacles. So, we can super hop up. And in Frogger 1, when we get a frog, we would return back to the start of the level. Not so in Frogger 2. In Frogger 2, we just keep on going. There's also no time limit in Frogger 2. So, yeah, they dumbed down the game kind of a lot. I still really like it, though. What does this one say? P press right shift to slurp up bonuses with your ton. So, the, the purple butterflies give us an extra life. Those guys just don't really do anything... Yeah, there are still bugs in this game, but they're all butterflies, and they're very, very much simplified. The entire concept of a score, which was like one of the main selling points of Frogger 1, is trying to get the high score. Yeah, that's not even in Frogger 2. It's literally just an adventure game. Press enter plus enter to double jump over gaps. So this is one of the main control differences between Frogger. Frogger 1, we could just super hop, but in this, we have learned the master. If we press enter twice, we can do a double super hop, and this will allow us to get over single square wide gaps as well as getting up high ledges, as we're about to see. And yeah, as we move up here, you can see the camera's starting to change to follow us. You can also double super hop to reach high places. Like there. 
Yeah, so as you can see, we're just getting the frogs down a line. Definitely a downgrade. I definitely prefer the 3D, like, exploration of Frogger 1. This is still fun. Double hop up there. Press right control to croak and find nearby baby frogs. Croaking is a lot better in this. Because the different places you need to go will actually glow. And as you can saw, as you saw, there was another ripple behind this gap here. And as you can see, when we go closer, there's the purple frog. I will probably never use Croak after this, though. Because, again, Croak was kind of useful for, like, being able to, if you didn't know where the frogs were, to try to find them. But you don't really need to find the frogs in this. They just are kind of put in your path. Hop onto a switch to activate it. There we go. We hopped on the switch, and now these lily pads will start moving. Watch out for Frogger's enemies! <laughs> One amusing feat about Frogger 2, though, is that, uh... There's a lot of funny death animations in this. And yeah, if you die, you end up getting, instead of getting teleported back to the start of the level, you get teleported back to the last place where you found a frog, essentially. And yeah, there we go. Here's the red frog. We cleared the training. Training complete. Frogger is so happy. So that was, that was the initial level, just the training. That one's going to be slightly different than the others. For one, it's laughably short and easy. The other levels are going to be longer and more involved and just have more to it than that. So that's just a way to get you used to the controls. We now know how to play, so let's start the story for real this time. And of course, we get amazing 3D animated cutscenes. Oh no, it's the mysterious Swampy who wants revenge. Frogger's a married man now. As we saw in the end of Frogger 1. Hey, maybe open your eyes, Frogger and Lily Frog. How do they not notice any of that? Oh, man. <laughs> These 3D graphics have not aged well. <laughs> they're not horrible, but they're not great. They're croaking to find them. Alright, we're going off to the garden. Yeah, there are two main characters. We're not just going to play as Frogger, we're going to play as Lily Frog as well, but uh, later for that. Now we're on the first real level of the game, the garden. So, like I said before, there's not really a time limit in Frogger 2, and the levels are much more linear. There are also these coins. The coins do not appear on the training levels, but they appear on every other level. There are 25 coins on each level. You definitely want to collect them all. If you do, you get a special prize. All right, we got bees going to the right, and then uh, lawnmowers going to the left. This light blue butterfly is a quick hop. This will literally let us hop as fast as we can tap the keys, which is great. There's the first frog. Uh oh, now that crocodile is going to want revenge. And Frogger 2 is keeping up the tradition of the Frogger games having fantastic music. Like... One thing that Frogger 2 definitely did not skimp on is the good music. Frogger 1 has one of the best soundtracks, but Frogger 2's actually might be better. It's so funky. So yeah, you can move uh, across the water getting on those logs. A couple more coins. There's the yellow frog. And now there's a mysterious shed over here. With some coins inside. How lovely. We can hide from the lawnmowers in these inlets. We can see where the grass is cut. That's where the lawnmowers are going to move. There's a coin up here. We can super hop up there. Pretty simple. There's that blue frog. I mean, technically you can skip the blue frog, get the other frogs, and like you can collect the blue frog last, but like why would you? It's right on your way. We can't go inside that shed, unfortunately. Also... We can super hop over the lawnmowers just like in uh, the first game. But we can also double super hop over them, which is a lot safer and a lot easier. We can hide from the lawnmower in that shed. So yeah, as you can see, the levels are going to be very, very quick in this game. Escape from the lawnmowers. We collected all 25 coins, and now we grab the final frog. The garden. All coins collected. Opened Toad Road. 
So at this point in the game, anytime we get 25 coins on a level, it will unlock a special bonus level. So there are actually quite a few bonus levels in the game that you can get by collecting all of the coins. You also see right here, it says time to 1260. So it took me two minutes, 12 seconds, and 60 milliseconds in order to uh, actually... I don't think that's milliseconds, actually. It's centiseconds or whatever. And it says the record is by laws in 40 seconds. So I said that there's not a time limit in this. There kind of is in the sense that there are time trials for each level. And you can, like, race, like, you and your you and your friends can race for the best time. But, like, there's not a time limit in the sense that if you don't collect a frog within the time limit, you die. Like in Frogger 1. So that's kind of how it goes. So the bronze trophy means that I didn't do very well. There's a bronze trophy, a silver trophy, and then a gold trophy. So, hey, I at least got the bronze trophy. So I, it's better than nothing, I guess. But, yeah, if I want to beat Laws' time and get the gold trophy and register myself as the high, having the high score, I'm going to need to beat that level in faster than 40 seconds. Which, you might be thinking, like, that's not that much time. But keep in mind, most of the time I spent on that level was just explaining stuff and collecting all the coins. If you're not trying to collect all the coins, you can beat these levels ridiculously quickly. And even so, like, two minutes, not that long for a level. Like, these levels are, on average, a lot shorter than the Frogger 1 levels. And there are fewer of them. So, yeah, this Let's Play will probably be, like, free episodes. <laughs> Gotta see more 3D cutscenes. <laughs> Alright, I have complete step free. Now what do we do? Where are we? There's, like, Egypt on one... Are we in the Egypt? It's, like, the pyramids on one side. Oh, no! I have a lot of questions. Oh no. So Swampy's- Swampy got caught by Frogger and Lily Frog real quickly and then they're just like, you're not moving. He's like, okay. He's just- he's just chucked their babies like in opposite directions. So apparently now we have no choice but to find the one frog in each direction. So Frogger has to go towards the mine and Lily Frog has to go towards the pyramids. Where are they? <laughs> This game must canonically take place in Egypt. Anyways, yeah, now we play as Lily Frog. There are a couple different characters that we can play as in this game, but it's mainly Fro Frog or Lily Frog. Every character in the game controls exactly the same, though, so it's just purely cosmetic differences. We're on this next level, and we got this kangaroo hopping around. Double super hop over him. You can also hold the enter key at the end of the double super hop and you will definitely slow your descent, which is great if you're waiting for an obstacle to get out of the way. Got these two cans around here. And some beetles, they're easy enough to dodge. And we get our first frog. I don't know what those brown furry things are, but there we go. So we got spears on each side and then a cannonball going down the middle. Well, we gotta pick, pick up the coins, so... Whew! Escaped just in time. Whoop! Wow. I want that extra life. There we go. Oh no! Frogs can't swim. Swampy actually seemed intimidated by Frogger and Lily Frog, even though he's like an alligator and there are frogs. Ooh! Way to make me feel welcome. The theming in this, these levels are really good. It's just, I wish the levels were shorter. We can avoid the cannonballs and push this switch to make a bridge appear. And here's the purple frog on a pedestal. And now that pushes it. Oh my gosh, that's a boulder! So now we gotta run away from the boulder. The shaking screen actually does wreck your concentration a bit. But there we go, we got all 25 coins. We can go away here, get an extra life, and boom. Easy. Boulder Canyon. We got all the coins, and we got the new level one way. We'll be playing bonus levels later on. Oh, I couldn't beat Sans time. I, I'm, I'm not going to beat any of these best times right now. I'll go back to each of the levels and try to get beat them as fast as I can. In a future episode, but right now, if I'm trying to collect all of the coins, it's not realistic to get the best times. Man, this is funky music. And man, those are bad graphics. 
<laughs> it has been so long since I've actually played through this game's story mode. Like, this game is so quick. Like, it's gonna be over really fast. So I'll probably keep the episodes pretty short. So now we cut to Frogger, who has entered the mine to find the one frog. But this is weird. Like, Swampy clearly only threw one frog in each direction, but Lily Frog found five in the pyramids? Is she adopting more kids, or did did that... I don't... I don't understand. Anyhow, this level's a lot more dangerous. Those minecart tracks are, uh, electrified, and we will die and get melted into a pile of ash if we end up walking on them. That's not good. We also got these rats walking around. You can see on the ground where they're going to move, though, for their trail, so we can just mind that. More rats walking up here. If we push this switch, it makes that thing crumble up there. Make sure we pick up that extra... Whoa-oh. That extra coin. Get the quick hop. And we have our first frog. Let's take a minecart ride deeper into the mine. Like I said, the music in this game is spectacular. Like, I might be story mode in free videos. And these will be short videos. Alright, watch out for the rats. Those rats are going to go that direction. I like getting to watch the minecarts uh, down there. That's a cool touch. Pick up three more coins, wait for the rats to leave, and there we go. Yeah, this is definitely no... Again, it's definitely not Frogger, he's back, but... I appreciate that I kind of tried to do something different. Watch out for the spiders, because hitting them will kill us. We're Frogger, so if we get if anything breathes on us, we're gonna die. Crumbling boards, but like just like in real life, the boards will respawn after a few seconds. And now we get to go across these electrified cart tracks in the opposite direction. Nothing. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for a set of double carts. If... Um... Excuse me? <laughs> I definitely hopped on the... Did I hop, like, directly between the two and, like, for, time it frame perfectly so that way I hit the electrocuted, uh, rail cart tracks? Because that should not have happened. There we go. So we're going to hit out on this lower cart track because there are two coins here. Gotta correct, collect the other coin, hop up to the one above it, and then we can grab the frog without dying. That was the gold mine. All coins collected, we opened up the new course round the bend. And this time we got the silver trophy. I'm actually surprised. Oh, we couldn't beat Kevin's high score. Darn it. Alright, yeah, that's... I'm gonna end the video there. Again, these episodes are gonna be shorter than usual, and it's still going to be a really short Let's Play. Most of the Let's Play will probably be me trying to get the best times for a bunch of all of these levels. That's not to say I don't love this game. Like, this is still... An, this is still a very fun game, and it's a childhood favorite of mine, and I'm super happy I can Let's Play it. It's just... Yeah, looking back at this, I'm like, eh, Frogger 1 was definitely better. But this is still very fun. In particular, the bone... Sorry for the cut there, uh, Audacity just stopped recording my commentary, but I'm back now. Alright, that's gonna do it for this first episode of Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. This is gonna be a fun, albeit very short, Let's Play. I hope you guys join in for the ride. Despite my numerous uh, unfavorable comparisons of this towards Frogger 1, I still really like this game, don't get me wrong, like, and I'm still having a blast playing it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, the bonus stages are going to be great, story mode it will be over very, very quickly. There are only ten chapters in the game, and every chapter has either one or two levels in it, and the levels don't really get that much longer than this. So, yeah, it's going to be a quick Let's Play, but it's going to be a very fun Let's Play, and I hope you guys tune in for all of it. So, I'll have to bid you all adieu. Thank you for watching once again, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.